two weeks ago. I've not weighed him since. Let's see how big you've gotten. Woof! I've also not weighed myself, so first we're gonna weigh me. 170.6. Get over here, dude! Okay, 170.6. Let's see how quickly we can do math live on camera. 188.2. That means I am... You are... Eight. 18 pounds? 18? 17 and some change? You've grown like four pounds, dude? What? You're so big? You're so big? You've made more gains in like two weeks than I have in like four years, you know that? Strangers, killing my lonely nights with strangers. And when they leave, I go back to our song. Whoa, the first ever dude transition. Thanks for that, man. Here's your little, oh my God, he's a dude backflip. Man, you can already learn new tricks every single day. Breakfast, Chick-fil-A, egg white delight thing. It's delicious. Then we have a four piece nubby poo. We are here with Lord Dog and team. What's up, dude? We are filming a, a podcast for his podcast. What's the uh, what's the idea ideology behind this? So dude? our agency, our marketing agency, is just really working with a lot of clients. Max is being one of them. Um, sick dude, and we just want to get his story, just kind of share it on a more uh, personal side because what Max has done on Ever Forward has been absolutely incredible. Sharing that side of his story and involving what his message from his dad has done, and we just want to get a little bit more background. So. Honestly, we just want to showcase all of our amazing clients that we work with, so. And they want to find out how I can deadlift so much weight with such small knees. So many questions. So scientists are still trying to figure it out. So uh, let's jump into that. It's hard, I think, for people to kind of wrap their head around the fact that like, you're not just gonna be a millionaire yeah. piece itself, what logo we it's use. Really, it's really come very far. I remember that. I, I, I think in the long run, you, you truly can't fail. Um, you can have setbacks and you can have, you know, things that are going to kind of demotivate you at times. Like, so I, I'm really trying to find that balance of getting work done, but also... Here we have a wild French bulldog battling a golden doodle. Which one will win? Sorry guys, I almost got blown away from Tornado Burger. It is what they say the best cheesesteak in town. This is right by the gym. Okay, it's also home of the Spicy Burger, but it has a million signs that says home of the best cheesesteak, so we gotta try it out. A little Texas cuisine. I feel like a uh, guy for, uh, for, 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 for Fugazi, Fugazi? Fury. Fury, but like way better hair. <laughs> Review Max here. First of all, I want to give the presentation value a 10 out of 10. This is what a, a Philly cheesesteak should look like. You have the minced meat, okay? You have the cheese spread throughout. This is their spicy version, so I don't know what they do. Maybe put a little jalapenos in there, uh, but overall, it just looks fantastic. Second of all, to give them props, because these little Maxes right here, they are hand pressed. I saw them putting the potatoes in the thing, pressing the thing. They went right through the thing, and then they turn them into potatoes. French fries, okay. Cajun, Cajun, delicious, delicious. Now the next task between for a uh, cheesesteak is I don't want the bun to fall apart, okay? When I pick this thing up, okay? Not separating, that's good. You don't want that separation, okay? Hate that separation. Let's go ahead and try this out. How am I gonna fit this in my mouth? <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, I think that's your thumbnail right there. 
<laughs> at the mud. Um, flavor. Mmm. I'm, so, I'm soaking a little bit. Mm. Burst of flavor. Got some spice. Okay. Not too much spice. It's not going to scare you off. Okay. This is great. Nine out of ten. This is definitely the best tea steak I have had in Texas. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Delicious lunch. Del oh, and. Oh. Magajita. Hurricane. Wow. So the other three days, everybody else coordinate their trip on the other day. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Munner, who are you talking to? I'm talking to Michael. Michael Corey? Hey, what's up, dude? What up, dude? So, it's Michael, he has hosted a powerlifting meet at his gym, Obtain Strength. And uh, Mona and myself are going to pick his brain about the do's, the don'ts, the struggles, the successes, how it went, what he would change about it. And you're just going to, you're just going to, just help us out, right? I'm going to make sure you have the best powerlifting meet in Texas, dude. Hey, thanks so much, man. And then maybe you can come and you can say hi to dude. I will be there. I'll go. Thanks, I'll dude. Go. Usually, like, USPA will, like, some meets will do, like, cash prizes or whatever. Is it ever forward LLC or whoever's hosting it is, you know, not responsible for, you know, anything. We sharpie on people's hands, like an X, and then some people would be like, oh, I forgot something in my car, and then they would come back like two hours later with an X on oh, their hand. I appreciate the insight a lot. You are welcome. I dude. hope you can Thank make it you. out, man. Yeah, I'll be there, man. Everyone wants you to get back on YouTube, bro. It's been over three months today. I miss your videos. I miss your scent. So we are gonna try an exercise we have not done in a long time. It's the deadlift. You might be like, well, Max, how are you gonna deadlift without a bar? Well, I gotta find my deadlift bar. Sure, there was some sort of indicating blue band on the bar to really just find out which one it is without having to go around to all the gym. Oh, I found it. It's at the it's at the row machine. The deadlift bar is at the row machine. That makes sense. Okay. 455 pounds, sets of six. 405 is when I put on the belt. Belt that I use is a 10 millimeter Inzer Forever lever belt. Been using it for like six plus years. I don't get paid from them. I, I paid for this, and I honestly will never ever switch to this. And 405 is gonna put on chalk. So we're gonna put on some chalk right now. Just kidding. There's no chalk. So chalk is obviously a great aid in your lifting. But right now my palms are sweaty. All I need is some spaghetti, and I'm basically M&M. We're gonna try this set of six with uh, no chalk. We're gonna do a switch grip. Switch grip, as you guys know, is one hand over, one hand under. We should be all right. It's gotta bleed. Oh, it sucks. Yeah, pretty good grip strength, man. Yeah. Like. I consider myself someone to have very good grip strength. A lot of people are like, Max, dude, what can I do to increase my grip strength? And the answer is to master. My answer would be to keep doing deadlifts and not use aids such as straps and whatnot. Double overhand as long as possible. Then when you can't grip double overhand anymore, you can switch to mixed grip or hook grip as long as you're safe and uh, know how to do those things. But obviously use chalk. I have never lost a deadlift because of my grip. I have held 675 pounds at the top of a block pull. And the reason is, I don't use straps. I don't use straps. I don't use straps. But next, people I watch, they use straps. I don't care. I don't use straps. I don't use straps. Hey 
Hey, dude. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh. Mate, man, you're kind of stinky. Man, you may walk around that mud. Do you want a bath? Yes, Rex, I would love a bath. I'm gonna be a good dog and you're gonna be nice in the bath. Let's go to the bath. First rule of dude being in my bathroom because he's peed on two of them is to take all of the mats and throw them in that way. I'm coming back for your little ass, dude. Pull all there. And originally I was gonna give him a bath, but he's comfortable in the shower because when I'm in the shower, he does this little thing. He does, he's like, and he's gotten in there a couple times, so I figure he's comfortable. Dude! Can't take a shower in this stuff, guys. This is just, this isn't shower apparel, so. Give me a second. Much better. Wow, what a cool bathing suit. Next, is that, is that one of four designs of Ever Ford Apparel Premium New Swim Trunks 2.0 that's coming out this summer? Yeah, it is. Okay, here we go. Chee with dogs. Okay, this is the highest rate on Amazon dog shampoo. Oh, it's got a little poodle on there. Wow. Hey, come on. Yep, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Never washed a dog before. Oh, he's gonna look so weird. <laughs> Here we go. Good boy. Are you supposed to wash his ear? <laughs> So clean. You're gonna get so many bitches now. That's a female dog, by the way. It's a dog joke. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> You're handling it so good, buddy. Come here. Hey, that's a good boy. We're gonna fluff you up. And the thing with golden doodles is when they get wet, you, now I need to brush his hair because you don't want his he doesn't have that long hair right now, but um, you don't want the hair to get matted, which is like tangled, um, because if they do, to get a mat out, you have to shave them. Are you cold, buddy? Hey, it's okay. You cold? You did great. All right, buddy. All right, do your, you want to do your little shake thing? Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hold on. Hey. Hey, come here. Come here. This is grade A content, guys. Grade A content. You know, I kind of... I think the topic of this video is gonna kinda ask you guys, like obviously we have dude now, but besides this little rascal, what brings you to my YouTube channel? I like to ask this once a year. I, I don't wanna like say like, hey, what do you guys wanna see? Cause at the end of the day, I'm just gonna film my life and keep filming what I wanna film. But like, what keeps you coming back to my videos? Cause like, the views have been up, engagement's been up, um, likes have been up, so you guys have been enjoying the content. I try to put a little bit of different spin on each video. Like the last one was Deadless in Arms, and this one's Deadless in Arms, which was kind of like completely different. But what about my channel keeps you coming back? Is it wacky humor? Is it my skinny knees? Is it my my lifting? Leave it down below. What is it about me that you just can't get enough of? Or is it just dude? Everyone's just gonna be like, it's just dude. <laughs> we don't care about you, Max. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God, sorry. Yes, yes. Good potty, dude. Someone at the end of like, in the first year of dude, let's, let's see how many times I can film him taking crap. Good potty, dude. Woo. Hello, Queen Nala. <laughs> Guys, carrying dude up and down steps. You are, hey. you are getting heavy, dude. Go away, read some books. I bring dude over to Christians often so he can have a lot of interactions with the doggos. And he obviously hangs out with them at the office and not, or Ava and dude together rambunk, they just attack each other. They eat each other's faces. It's, it's bizarre, right? With Nala, he wouldn't dare. If he goes near her and she snaps, like he'll fly across the room. He knows not to mess with Nala. Nala even though dude is gonna be significantly bigger than Nala, I still think she'll kind of run the house, but um, just got here. He pooped outside. Thanks, Christian's backyard. And now we are gonna go to dinner. So I need to put him in the crate. Gonna give him a little Kong with some peanut butter, some frozen, so he won't, you know, freak out. And let's go get some magajitas. So what we got? Mango magajita, of course. Two chicken fajitas, one beef fajita. If you've never had tortillas tacos. 
It's the best tacos I've ever had in my entire life. Is there a better taco place than this? They're pretty good. I'm not. Yeah. This is, leave a comment down below. Let me know a better taco place than Torchies because I'll call you a liar probably. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. Smash the thumbs up button. Again, leave down below why I keep coming back to the channel. It's because I'm so good looking, right? My mom tells me I'm handsome. See you guys in the next one. Peace.